welcome here this afternoon to this very historic occasion when we celebrate Mass here on the site where Father Higgerty was martyred. Traditions die hard in Ireland. In These are the wild northern shores of Loch Swilly in Donegal. Way in the distance is the town of Buncrana, and all these people have trudged in the cold wind just to be here. Our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Their prayers are for a priest who died nearly three centuries ago. Yes, nearly 300 years ago. You could say everyone in Ireland remembers their ancestry religiously. Let us ask God to pardon us and forgive us and tell him we're sorry for our sins. But even Irish tradition is not so easy to keep alive, especially when machines can make easy work of it. Donegal is where the Irish invented and perfected tweed. But it takes a dedicated dame to push and shove away at an old traditional loom. In Donegal, where the country life battles on, tweed and knitting are as basic as church to their lives. What was the first thing you knitted? I knit a teddy bear and then I heard talking. Do you want to teach your children to knit, do you think? Yes. I've been knitting since I was 10 and now I'm 81. And during all those years, Ellen knitted a jumper a fortnight. My mother taught me to knit socks. I showed that to my daughter. She showed it to her daughter. And now her daughter's showing us the very modern stuff. And we're catching on. <laughs> Ellen is learning to bridge a generation gap and save a bit of the Irish economy, Irish tradition, and the pocket money of so many isolated Irish women, their daughters, and their children after them. Do you knit jumpers to yourself? We do, sometimes. Not a lot. Haven't time. <laughs> do you wear jumpers that you knit yourself, or do you buy No, them? no, I do not. Never, never wear a jumper and knit myself. I can't imagine knitting one for anyone else. No, I know you are. <laughs> You're the opposite. <laughs> At the height of the knitting, we would have had... A